you can use autograph to illustrate your volume of a revolution and I'll show you how. Okay, so I'm not going to load up my usual page, I'm going to load up a 3D graph page. Now the thing we're about to do, volume of a revolution, is one of the more advanced things you can do with autograph. So I'm going to try my best here and try to remember all the steps. We're going to need an equation, so here we go, y equals, I'm going to use 4 minus x squared. And if we plot it on a 3D graph, um, it gives us this, this lovely looking graph here. You can see autograph making good use of the, the shading here. Um, there we are as a 3D graph, but because of what we want to do, I'm going to make some changes here. I'm going to plot it as a 2D equation only. That reduces it to that. And then I'm going to use this view, so we view it as just in the X, Y axis. I'm now going to put two points carefully, put two points onto the graph. You saw the mouse change, so fingers crossed I've got my points. They are fixed onto the graph. I'm giving them a little wobble. Do they actually move up and down the graph? Yes, they do. So I'm going to click somewhere else. I'm going to shift select. So I select both of the points and we're going to create an area. Uh, I'm going to click OK there. That gives us an area. We can just, just if we wanted to, we'd have a little check. Can I move the area around? Yes, I can. Uh, I can move it up there. Fantastic. But we haven't got a volume of revolution until we click on the area itself we right click and we can create a volume of a revolution the axis of rotation is going to be the y-axis and there i have i've rotated it i can now grab my hand and i can move the volume of a revolution around so because it's dynamic we can select those points so I can pull it down if I wanted to. There it is popping out the other side. Um, we can also, and this is quite good fun, we can, we can, well, you can let it spin around. If you now click on the volume of a revolution itself, the animate object icon appears, and we're able to animate the revolution. So I'm going to animate it going up and down. I'm going to start at pi over 2 and go all the way through to 2 pi. Let's speed it up a little bit. So when I click play, we get this nice thing here. Some students at that point say, oh, it looks a bit like Pac-Man. So there we are, we can use autograph to illustrate and animate dynamically the volume of a revolution.